Awesomeness Junkies, welcome back to Hustle is for Life Motivation. I have an incredible show for you today and guess what? Tonight's guest is somebody who is actually trained by one of the top highest performance co uh, high performance coaches in the world. It is very exciting, but before we get into that, let me talk to you about something very quickly. A lot of the times we have a story stuck in our head about what's happened to us and who we are and why we can't do certain things, why we can't become certain type of person, etc. And it's something that goes on without, without any sort of interference. It's just a continuous loop that goes on in your head. But at some point you become conscious and you want to take back control and you don't know where to start. At that point you usually need somebody else to help you, to show you the way, somebody who's gone through the similar sort of journey, who has experienced this sort of transformation and they can help you and guide you and show you the way, show you the exact footsteps that you need to, uh, you need to actually uh, follow in order to go and create that extraordinary life, create that extraordinary level of results that you want in your life. So. Tonight's show is really focused on that, where we can actually learn from somebody who is at the elite level of high performance and their coaching skills are truly, truly world class. So let's go into the introduction of our guest. I want to introduce you to Mr. Robert Murray. Now he is absolutely phenomenal. He actually quit his corporate job a few years ago. He moved to a completely different city, different place, and he's literally just rebuilt himself. Okay, he literally had gone through a ventral transformation and came out as a butterfly, right? And check this out. He, at the moment, is building his coaching business. He has actually been coached by Brendan Burchard, okay? You heard that right. He's been coached by Brendan Burchard. Uh, Brendan Burchard is somebody who I really look up to. He's the world's number one high performance expert. He's trained billionaires, top athletes, top media personalities like Oprah, etc. And he is just absolutely amazing. I talked about it a little bit before as well, where I actually um, am going through his book. I finished the book now. This is the book that I read. It's called High Performance Habits. It's his latest book, book number six. And without much further ado, we're going to go into our conversation with Mr. Robert Burry, who is a high performance coach who's been trained by Brendan Burchard. Robert, welcome to the show, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Great introduction. Wow. <laughs> obviously, all the guests that come on are very special to me, so obviously I want to do a very good introduction for each one of my guests. Um, and I know you're going to bring a tremendous amount of value, Robert. So I, I really appreciate it. You took time out of your busy schedule to be here with us. Absolutely. Love it. Love it. And would, would, really looking forward to serving your audience. So this is great. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. I'm sure the audience uh, are really excited about this conversation as well. And, and I know it's going to be absolutely awesome. So let's jump, jump into it. So Robert, we, we want to kind of go back in time. So help us, help us kind of paint that scene. Help us visualize what it was like when you actually were in a corporate job and you decided to quit. And then you decided to move. You didn't just stay where you were. You moved to a completely new place. And mm -hmm. you had to completely rebuild yourself. And you decided that actually, you know what, I'm going to become a high performance coach. So talk to us a little bit about what that was like. What, was, what, what were you going to? What were you thinking? What were you believing at that point? And then where you are now? Yeah, absolutely. So when, when I left my corporate job in 2015, and at that time, I was a uh, director of supply chain for a large automotive firm. Bye. And I had a lot of people reporting to me. And my mission in that company was to, to transform the supply chain to get the company ready for sale to a larger private equity company. All right. So, wow. Somehow or other, I had gotten, and, and honestly, people have asked me this question, like, how did you even hear of Brendan? And I'm like, I <laughs> remember. So right. he, he's got a couple of things that he's doing. One of them was Experts Academy mm. and I had signed up for that I think in 2013 and then I realized you know what that really doesn't seem to, to serve. That's not who I am right now. That's not what I need. I'm not an online presence. I'm not trying to build a big business online. Yeah. yeah. 
So I decided to go to High Performance Academy. So I went to High Performance Academy instead, and I was blown away. I was blown away by the training. I was blown away by his presence. I was blown away by the, the simple frameworks that he gave for how I could perform at a higher level. Right. And during that, he said, if you want to be one of the world's elite high-performance coaches, I mm. have a training program that can train you to, to do the exact coaching with the exact framework that I have, and I would love to invite you to do that. And right. my idea was, huh, that sounds good because I can lead my team to higher levels of performance because there's no way that I can turn – take even though we were growing the company during the time that I was there we grew it from 60 million to 100 million right and the plan was to sell it to another company grow it from 100 million to 200 300 400 million right and uh, I was thinking I could just use it to train my my team to higher levels of performance hmm. so fast forward I, I go to the high performance coaching certification and if you've ever been to one I mean any one of Brendan's events you come back completely jazzed but <laughs> the high performance coach training is like even better because that's just us you know it's it's a hundred to two hundred uh, elite level coaches in a room with Brendan it's a lot more personalized attention yeah so I was so jazzed I came back and you know I, I talked I was reporting to the CEO at the time and I'm like Oh my gosh! You know this was so good. I'm ready to start coaching the staff. Hmm. Can you know? I, I would love to bring them to higher levels. This is what uh, this is what I learned. This is the framework. Can I get going on this? And hmm. he, he's like, "Well, no. Actually, we're getting ready to sell the company. It's going to happen in just a couple of months. We're not really going to focus on personal development for people. We just want to make the numbers look good, and we're gonna we're getting ready to spin this thing." So fast forward, a couple months later, I, uh, I, you know, because of, of him not allowing me to do it on company time, yeah. I yeah. decided to just ask the people on my team, hey, does anybody want coaching? And the lowest paid employee reporting to me uh, was the only guy that said yes. I would, oh, I wow. Would interested. Wow. And so we just went out for sushi together right. multiple times and I coached him through a lot of the ideas that he had of, of lack of self-worth, not mm. being good enough, not being able to do what he needed to do. So when the time came finally that the company was getting ready for sale, uh, the company was great. The, you know, they, they, uh, they said, thank you, Rob, we really appreciate this. We told you going into this that there was a possibility that you know, the job may end when we're mm. spinning the company. Uh, your position's being consolidated into another, another position, wow. somebody who actually had an own, a, uh, a, a direct ownership stake in the company. So right. I'm like, okay, totally get it. One of the people reporting to me said, Rob, what did you accomplish when you were at, at our company? Yeah. And I said, well, I set up an office in China, got that running super smoothly. Mm. I saved a million dollars on our direct material cost. Nice. I cut 30% out of our freight bill. And I helped Justin realize what his potential was. And as I said that last thing, my eyes filled up with tears tears and I'm like whoa I thought all those other things that sound so much better on the resume yeah would mean something to me but they mm. don't the thing that mattered to me was helping Justin and that's when I realized you know what it's time for me to go a different direction this corporate accomplishment is just not jazzing me anymore what really jazzed me is helping the lowest paid guy on my staff realize how powerful he was and what his potential was. Wow. Wow. That's a powerful story. That's a really powerful story. And it's, it's, it is crazy that the lowest paid guy actually turned out to be the person who says yes. Right. Yeah. Like exactly. help me. Right. Yeah, that's amazing. That's incredible. And yeah. yeah and, and the, the fact that you, when it, when it came to actually listing your accomplishments, you're just like, wow, actually helping that guy, you know, helping him transform, realizing his true potential was my biggest accomplishment. 
and, and that's really powerful as well. I think th for the audience, what I'm trying to highlight is the fact that once you have been through your own transformational journey, it doesn't stop there. It carries on because guess what? You now are able to turn around and help somebody else with their transformation. You're able to share your experiences, your knowledge, your skills, your expertise, and help other people and transform their lives. And that's where the biggest form of achievement, of fulfillment comes from. Would you agree with me, Robert? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, it, it's funny, the world starts reflecting back to you when people ask you questions like mm -hmm. that. And that's one of the things, and, and, and I love uh, the message that you have of just get into action, because a lot of times we can't figure out what the action needs to be, but when yeah. we're in action, the world starts reflecting back. And when that person asked me that question in that moment, you know, that made me reflect back like okay these things sound great this mm. one moved. yeah and so when you realize what it is that moves you what it is that jazzes you up what it is that really has meaning to you that's the direction you need to go mm. yeah yeah so powerful so powerful there yeah awesome and and Robert the thing is that you know when you actually help the person transform his life right yes In, in the process, in the process of where he, you, you are actually helping him transform and he's realizing his full potential, he's getting over his limiting beliefs, etc. You actually were able to realize your true kind of achievement through that process as well. It didn't yeah. happen otherwise, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Yeah. Exactly right. Yeah, and, and that's really powerful, the fact that it, the, the power of connection you have with somebody else, where you're open, where you're vulnerable, where you just want to be like, hey, what, what is it that I can help you with? And you start connecting, and, and suddenly, you know, you realize that, wow, not only the fact that I help somebody else transform, I actually transformed a little bit myself. I love that. Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, in a, it's always in a journey, and you know, one of the, it, it's kind of funny, because one of the, the uh, I don't know if you call it a dirty secret, but a, a secret. <laughs> We've all shared this, so I know it's universal. Yeah. Is that very often our clients will show up with the exact problems that we need to get over ourselves. Mm. And the best way to get past some of the challenges that we each have in our own hearts, in our own minds, in our own limiting beliefs is to help other people through that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I mean, Robert, this this is exactly the reason I started the channel. This is exactly the reason I work so hard and I try and bring on amazing people who have achieved extraordinary results in their life so they can come here and share their stories with the audience. And mm -hmm. I want the audience to actually engage and realize, look, whichever situation you're in, like that person who's the lowest paying person on your staff, he is the per he's the person who actually realized, look, I need some help. And he stepped up. And he wanted the coaching. He actually said yes. And I think that's something the audience needs to realize that if he hadn't said yes, he would be like he would have stayed where he was. Nothing would have changed. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He yeah. Would I love that. You know, mm -hmm. and, and what you what you're alluding to is one of the things that was interesting because Brendan even shares that in one of his other books about the comfortable the caged life where mm -hmm. you just feel like you're the victim of everything that happens to you. I can't do this because I didn't get this job. I didn't go to this school. My parents weren't rich. That's the cage life. Mm. But then you graduate to the comfortable life. And that's the where all the more successful people reporting to me were. They had good corporate jobs. They were making good money. They had a position. They were in a fast growing company. The company was a great company to work for. Life's good. I'm yeah. good. I'm yeah. comfortable, so I don't need coaching. I don't need to develop myself. Life's good, mm. you know. And then the charged life is the life where you're on fire, where you connect with the purpose, something that really matters to you. And and in connecting with that purpose, it's like there's something more for me. That's when you get into learning mode. That's when you start connecting with higher level peoples, higher level people. And I think one of the things that I realized in that question that one of the, the people asked me was that I was comfortable at that time. Mm -hmm. You know, I had a big six-figure salary. I was flying around the world, uh, staying at five-star hotels, setting up offices in China, going out to nice dinners with suppliers and all of that. Yeah. I mean, by any standards, that was great, but it wasn't what really mattered to me. Mm -hmm. The thing that mattered to me 
was making a difference in people's lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, the, for the audience, I, I want you to take a step back right now and put yourself you know, I, I kind of do, do a bit of an introspection, okay? I think that's the best way to approach it. Do a bit of an introspection and see what story you're telling yourself. Where do you feel stuck? Are you living the charged life or are you living a life where you feel victimized, where life has happened to you and you are a victim of your circumstances? Because if you stay, if you think, if you believe that you are the victim of your circumstances, nothing's going to change, right? And at that point, you, you will just slip deeper and deeper into that depression, into that low self-esteem, that low confidence state, etc. But like Robert talked about, living a charged life means taking action, moving forward and actually making a difference. I mean, that's so powerful, right? Making a difference, helping other people, connecting yeah. to a higher purpose. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting super excited because I this, no, this stuff. I love this stuff. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I geek out on this stuff too. So yeah, like I could go for hours talking about because it, it's it's so interesting. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, this is why I started the channel so I can start to share this stuff with with everybody else, right? Anything yeah. that I'm learning and the people that I'm connecting with and what they're sharing with me, I can make it open and and public to everybody else, and they they can learn the exact same stuff. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you know, you know, I, I just wanted to acknowledge you, Talal, too, because the it, sometimes you you start in motion and you have no idea, you know, whether people are listening, the impact that you're having on people, and then suddenly somebody reflects back. It's like, wow, I watched your program, and that that transformed me. That changed my life. Mm. Uh, it was, and, and, and I think that's what you're doing. You're getting a message out there that's, that's going to resonate and connect with people. So, I mean, and you took action. Instead of just waiting, you, you got out there and you, you started taking action. Yeah, exactly. You're absolutely right, Robert. And uh, this, uh, just very quickly, it reminds me of uh, something that happened recently. Um, a, a friend of mine, basically, he's a good friend. Um, he, he's just moved to um, Portugal and he called me from there and he's just finished university, etc. And he's like, look, I need to start building my coaching business. I, I, I need some help in the networking, etc. So I'm like, don't worry, man, just let's jump on a call. So we jumped on a call and, you know, I, I talked to him for like an hour, gave him some tips and, and asked him some questions to help him get clarity on what he wants to do, where he wants to go and stuff. And afterwards he was, he was like, oh yeah, th this is awesome. I love it, etc. You know, and I'm like, cool, just let me know how you get on. And after that, I just put the call down. And literally what, what was absolutely amazing was 15 minutes later, I actually got a ping on my phone, a notification on my phone telling me he's gone on to LinkedIn and written up an amazing recommendation and he left me a recommendation on, on LinkedIn just off his own accord. Nice. And yeah, I, I was like, wow, this is, this is incredible. I actually reached out like, dude, you didn't have to do that. Like seriously, thank you so much, but seriously, you didn't have to do that. I was just helping you out kind of thing. But yeah, it, incredible. You're right. I just, you said you said that and it, it just kind of came to me so awesome just, just thought i'll share that yeah cool. yeah i love that you know and it's <laughs> kind of funny too we sometimes we don't even realize the impact so this mm. was a funny story because uh, not funny but powerful story mm. because uh in like i i got to connect reconnect with justin at uh just a few months ago in october of last year i was flying through you know, I as as you alluded to, you know, I picked up everything, drove out from Minnesota to California, basically to be closer to Brendan's coaching. That was that was the transformation. Wow! But I went back to visit my my former roommates and some of my friends in Minnesota. Yeah. And I happened to be in town, so I called Justin up on the phone and I said, Justin, I'm on, I'm I'm in town. Would you like to get together? You know, I've got like a few hours before I have to get on the plane tomorrow morning. Yeah, He's yeah, like, yeah. oh God, yes, please. Let's get together at the same sushi place that we always met for coaching. Wow. We got together and, it, you know, and it's funny because I hadn't followed up with him. I hadn't talked to him probably in, I don't know, a year at, at least since then. Right. And uh, he said, Rob, I just wanted to tell you that since we, since you believed in me, hmm at a time that I didn't believe in myself, that I've left that low paying job, you know, just working quality in the warehouse. I'm now helping to implement the warehouse management software for the entire company. Wow. They're sending me around the world internationally wow. and throughout the US to implement the software. I'm seen as a leader. I've gotten a pay raise. 
I got out of a bad relationship that I was in for 14 years. Oh wow! I sold my house. I bought a new car. I'm in. I'm in love with a woman that I really, really connect with. Wow! And all the the feelings of scarcity and depression that I had at the time that you were working through me. I'm I'm over that. I'm I'm just really in a good place in my life. Oh wow! That's insane. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah that's that's absolutely insane. Wow. And of course, I was crying, and then I realized in this minute, it's like, wow, you know, because I mean, I, tears came to my eyes because, like, I had no idea. Like, yeah. if I had not just randomly called him, I would have had no idea that 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 dramatic change that occurred in his life. Wow. And then I realized, you know, Justin, I didn't share with you why I decided to be a coach. Mm. And then I shared the story that I shared earlier about why I decided to be a coach. Now he's in tears. So, like, <laughs> end of this trip to me. Soda was just epic because we were both realized what a huge impact we had on each other's mm. lives in, in a positive way. Yeah, and, and acknowledged each other for it. You know, it was it was pretty cool. Yeah, that's incredible. No, seriously, that's that's super powerful. I love that. I absolutely love that. And, and the fact that you you actually reach out to him, you want you know you try to connect back with him and see where he got up to. And it's fantastic to actually hear that he's accomplished so much. He's mm -hmm. completely done a U-turn and transformed his life from like the lowest paying person on your uh, on your team to now like wow he's flying internationally he's transformed his relationship he's transformed himself he's bought a new car like he's in a completely different place that's that's really powerful yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. really really satisfying I love that yeah. <laughs> well it shows because you got a massive smile plastered all across your face <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it shows. Can't, help, can't help that one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and and for the audience, I mean, this is this is an incredible story of you know somebody who was in a bad relationship for fourteen years was the lowest paying person on Robert's team, and with a bit of coaching, with a bit of guidance from Robert, he was able to completely transform his life. And this is why you need to take action. This is why you need to reach out. You need to you know upgrade the five people you spend the most time with. You need to connect with higher level people so they can kind of uplift you they can take you to the next level they can show you the footsteps they can show you the path they can show you the way where you need to go in order to achieve extraordinary results in your life so yeah absolutely thank you for sharing that Robert that was really powerful I love it I absolutely love that wonderful sure. yeah sure. awesome so Robert I mean you are now coaching at the moment you know many different clients Mm -hmm. And you have transformed yourself. You've been through a transformation yourself. You also shared a really powerful story of somebody else who you helped to basically achieve you know, his transformation. And he mm -hmm. completely turned his life around. Um, and it, it's all really amazing, really powerful stuff. What I really want to get into is what, what is it that you actually help people with? What, what kind of coaching do you do? What does it actually involve? Because I think the audience would really like to know how that transformation came around. How, what are you helping your clients with at the moment? How do you coach them? What does it actually you know, involve? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and I love that you already read the uh, book, High Performance Habits, because that, if you wanted to go in a nutshell, the type of coaching that I do, it is that. It's like, what are the habits that the the world's best performers do and it's not just one thing it's mm. not just it's not just uh, work harder mm. it's not just manage your relationships better but it's all of those things that you have to dial in yeah uh, so number one obviously is is focusing on what it is that really matters to you mm. and starting to figure that out and generating a higher level of clarity in your life and so Typically what I do is I start walking people through that, that level of clarity. And you know what's interesting what you said, and I think a lot of your message on your channel is this too. You don't get clarity sitting up on a mountaintop, uh, you know, <laughs> praying on what it is that you should do. You get some clarity in that. And I certainly don't, you know, like, heck, I meditate every single day. That's mm. important. But... Yeah. The real clarity comes from getting an idea of what it is that you want to do and then taking action. And in mm -hmm. taking action, the the world starts reflecting back to you. You know, just like you reflected back to me that, you know, I had a smile on my face where I was sharing the story with Justin. That is that that's the world saying, you know what, this really makes me happy. Mm -hmm. Um 
So that's that's one is developing that level of clarity. Uh, and then the other parts is just walking people through all the aspects of their life. Do they have the courage? Are they stepping up uh, yeah. and taking action, or are they letting limiting beliefs and the self doubts and lack of confidence hold them back? Are they managing their energy properly? Mm. Are they, you know, drinking enough water? Are they getting enough sleep? As boring as that sounds, you cannot be a high performer unless you're doing the things that you support yourself. Are you practicing gratitude on a regular basis? Are you meditating on a regular basis? And then it gets into some of the mastery level topics where people identify uh, what their persuasion is, whether they're having the level of influence that they want to have with other people, yeah. uh, whether they are really present with people in their lives, whether they're managing their relationships, yeah. uh, whether they're stepping up. So it's really just walking people through all the aspects of their lives and what do I need to do to perform at the higher level and start stacking those habits one on top of another on top of another uh, until you start achieving those higher levels of success. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and Robert, two things. First of all, you talked about gaining clarity, and I, I, I totally agree with you. I absolutely believe in the fact that if you want to get clarity, you first have to walk through a sea of fog. Yes. And that's how you get clarity. You have to take action. You literally have to walk. It's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be cool. It's not going to be comfortable. But you have to constantly take action. You have to carry on no matter what happens. And then you get clarity. Totally, totally agree. One of the things I've, I've said to people <laughs> a lot of times is the road signs get clearer as you're driving towards them. Mm, you know? And if yeah. you're sitting in New York City in your driveway thinking about, you know, my car might not work right. I might run out of gas. Something bad could happen. You're just going to be sitting in your driveway. But if it's, as you start driving, you know, you don't know for sure if you're going to end up in San Francisco or L.A., but the road signs will get clearer as you're in motion. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So true. So true. And the second thing you mentioned, uh, Robert, was the fact that you have to to become a high performer you have to raise your standards and improve your performance in all areas of your life okay you can't just focus yeah. on one this is something brandon talks about in this book obviously the high performance habits i mean if you haven't grabbed a copy guys grab one get through it it's absolutely amazing and he talks about the fact you can't just focus on one area of your life you have to focus on all areas of your life um and then you become a high performer right and this is exactly i mean this i i love that because i i totally connect with this this is exactly the message behind my show hustle is for life motivation that you can't just hustle for one thing or you can't just hustle for a short period of time it's a journey you constantly are working on different things all the time whatever you want to excel in you need to put your focus your energy your uh, resources your time your money into that thing but you can't ignore everything else either you have to upgrade your 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 knowledge your skills your expertise on every single area of your life and then hustle in all, on on all those areas to excel and then ha achieve holistic success achieve extraordinary results everywhere yeah that's so right you know it, it, it's it's interesting because a lot of times you see people who you regard as being at the the peak of success mm. but they're they're burning out on their relationships or they're they're burning themselves out they just can't manage their level of energy yeah and I think for my myself and obviously for yourself as well the people who I regard as really successful have figured out what it means to be good at all of those things yeah. and good at your relationships good at managing your rest and relaxation having some fun in their lives but also succeeding at the highest levels yes and that's that 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 really is so important yes yeah. Yeah, uh, Robert, I'm wondering how much you would agree with me on, on this, but the one thing that I have found that if I want to, you know, achieve extraordinary results in all different areas of my life, I need to do, at you know, two main things. There are two main things I must do. Uh, 
One mm -hmm. is I need to constantly review, constantly keep my finger on the pulse, and constantly check on all the different areas, how they're all going. I can't ignore one. I have to look at everything. My health, my finances, my relationships, my job, my, my personal life, my spiritual life. Like I have to look at all those areas, constantly review them, and set goals, and set standards on them. And the second thing is I constantly have to upgrade I constantly have to hustle and upgrade I have to raise the bar so I have to constantly you know learn new things engage with new people and you know uh, kind of read books that's a great way of upgrading your yeah. your your knowledge and your ex uh, experience and skills reading books um, you know or listening to podcasts or you know uh, just actually going and, and trying something different trying something new you know a new habit a new uh, say a hobby whatever but those are the two things I have found to be most useful. What, 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 what do you think? Would you agree with me on that? Absolutely, 100% agree. So I'll actually cover both of those because I think what you said was, was just genius. Uh, so number one, that if you, if, if you want to be really effective, you have to stay focused on the, the critical things that matter to you. Something yeah. that I did that... Um, Gosh, it was game changing, you know. Right. And I did it long ago. I actually, in between Christmas and New Year's, mm. I wrote a manifesto for myself. And and what I do, and this is one of the things Brendan shared with us, is that he, when when he sinks in with himself and what's important to him, he reads in full, full voice. You know, he'll read an inspirational book or something, but he's using his voice. So I created a a four page holistic manifesto of focusing on all those things that were important to me right. and then morning I pull it up I'll write down three things I'm grateful for and then I'll pull this manifesto up and I will read it to myself in full voice and it covers the difference that I want to make in the world mm. and why I'm doing what I'm doing and it covers how I want my relationships to be and it covers how I'm going to show up in the world and how I'm going to manage my energy and, and really all the aspects of my life the crazy thing is, because I obviously I did that this morning too, I was reading it and I'm like, wait, this is really weird. Because I mean, this is by, right, so January 1st I started reading this. Right. And one of the things that I had written in there was, was crazy, because this one's just new, like it happened this weekend. And I'm like, what, really? So one of the things is I that I wrote, so this, this is a big picture vision, but one of the things is, uh, I have uh, I've developed co-housing communities which shift the paradigm of scarcity and loneliness to a collective abundance and magnification of strengths. I live in an amazing co-housing project on the coast of California surrounded by other entrepreneurs and transformational leaders who share this mission. We engage in regular masterminds to, in, to grow our impact and help each other towards higher levels of success. Okay, so I wrote that right in between Christmas and New Year's well yeah. guess what happened this weekend I was staying at a a mansion as far as I know it was it was in San Francisco as far right. as I know this was the uh, the CEO of uh, one of the the organizers of Burning Man mm, and, all uh, right all right and, okay. and this 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 was uh, this this place was given to uh, a group group of friends that I'm now working with a leadership development company called Epic Impact, which right. in itself is Epic. Mm. And, um, and it was given to them because the, the owner of the, the place believes so much in their mission that they, she said, hey, you know, I'll take one of the rooms, you guys can take the rest. This is, this is really important. Your mission inspires me. Right. So I'm, I'm reading this today and I'm like, I just got back last night from doing exactly what I said. I wanted to do is like this stuff works so I, I think what you said on that level is so right that if you start creating a holistic picture of yourself mm. of all the things that you want to do and you start focusing on those things that these amazing things start to manifest just just in the process of focusing on them yeah yeah I mean two things one you can't you can't hit a goal that you can't see right right so you right. have to have a vision and yeah the the second thing is uh, which i believe is is also really really powerful is the fact that you miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take so you have right. to have a vision but you have to take action yeah right you have to take action yeah. otherwise you miss the shots so yeah awesome that's great the yeah. 
and I, so go on. I also go. love just to share the, the second point you made of really, really focusing in on it and developing that, that level of mastery. That's what I've been calling it, the level of mastery. Mm. And one of the things, I, I completely agree with that. Like, you've got to just keep stepping up your game. Uh, I went back, so in, in order to be uh, certified with the High Performance Institute and trained by Brendan, yeah. you, you need to go back every single year, or you need to certify every single year and go back at least every two years. Uh, so I go back every year because I just love being with the people. So this time, I decided I was going to step up my game, and that every single conversation that I had with the other coaches, because th the way this goes down is you are trained. So Brendan will, will share what the framework is, and then he says, okay, now you guys go do it. So this is experiential learning. We're actually right. coaching each other. Okay. So I decided every single call was going to end in either tears or a wow. Like it wasn't going to be any, you know, any mild coaching. I wasn't just going to read it off. I wasn't going through the motions. It was going to be tears or a wow. And every single conversation ended in one of those two things, and people were like, "Dude, you just slayed that. That was wow. so. Good. That was so good." And the thing that was so meaningful to me is how much better it feels when you're committed to that level of mastery, mm. and you see all the high, highest performing people. They dial in on what's important to them, and then they commit to it with that level. Like it's not just I'm just not going to go through the motions. I'm not going to fluff my way through things. I'm not going to do it just because I'm good at it. I'm actually going to practice. And I've certainly seen Brendan and all the people that I'm surrounding myself with, they just keep stepping up their game mm. over and over and over again, which, yeah. of course, encourages me to step up my game because it's like, wow. I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you've had this experience. I, I was starting to feel a little bit... Uh, uh, Oh gosh, what do you call it? The uh, the the uh, Facebook envy. You know, I was watching all the friends that I had, and it's like, wow, I just got it. I I just got a TED talk. Wow, mm. how I just finished my book. Wow, I just launched my online course, and it's like, well, gosh, I haven't done a TED talk. I haven't <laughs> launched my online course. I haven't written a book yet. You know, <laughs> but that that kind. I mean, first of all, having friends like that is awesome. But secondly. Having friends like that forces me to step up my game and say, you know, this is what's possible. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I love it. I absolutely love it. Right for the audience now, Robert. I, I let's. I, I want to go a little bit deeper. You mm -hmm. are obviously a, a coach who's been trained by Brendan Burchard. You know about high performance habits. You know. You actually coach other people on how they can develop those high performance habits. So I think especially for me and the audience as well, I think what we'd really love to know is what are some of your routines? What are some of your kind of uh, daily practices that you go through that allow you to be a high performer, that allow you to perform at the highest level? Sure, yeah, so a couple things. One is uh, when I wake up, so I'll drink my water, right? Mm -hmm. Got your big water bottle, you know. <laughs> nice, nice. So I'll do that now. Uh, and then the, the very first thing that I do is I write down three things that I'm grateful for. And stepping it up to the mastery level is as I was writing the name of a person that I was grateful for, yeah. I would start texting them or email them or thank them somehow. Oh, you know, wow. Right when I was doing that. And that, 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 that turned out to be so fun because then not only are you feeling the joy of the gratitude yourself, but you're feeling the joy of sharing it with somebody else, which makes their day, and almost invariably somebody will say, oh, thank you, you know, I, I really appreciated that, or I really needed that today. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's one. Second thing is I'll pull up my manifesto, and I'll read it to myself out loud, uh, in full voice, and that really sinks me into who I want to show up in the world as. Uh, the next thing I do is I meditate. Nice. So I will uh, meditate meditate every single day. Um, I've been using Headspace. There's all kinds of, uh, if, if you're not used to it, uh, yeah. I don't know if you have this problem, but you know, coming out of the corporate world and not being uh, a meditator like that just seemed weird to me. Uh, but I, I need somebody to talk me through it because my mind is just all over the friggin' yeah. place. No, no, you, you, you're talking to one of the biggest fans of Headspace on the planet. So, yeah, nice. yeah, to totally, right. totally, totally connect with that. All right, perfect. Then I'll go exercise. 
so right. I'll make sure that I get some movement uh, going into it. Hmm. So all of those things I do before uh, the day starts, and then I'll connect. So what, what one of the things, and, and this is one of the things I, I share with people in the high performance coaching, is the one thing you don't want to be doing mm. is don't pick this thing up and start reading your email or check your Facebook messages because now you're getting involved in other people's priorities instead of yours. Yeah. So before I get started on work, I will write out what are the three things that would make today really impactful, that would make the difference uh, yeah. for myself or for the lives of my clients. And I write those things out, and then I jump into work. Wow. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. And, and that's awesome. You know what? You didn't just break it down. You actually really stretch and challenge us because you talked about the mastery level and what you can really do to take it to the whole another level. I love that. So for the audience, there you go. That's the routine that Robert follows, and I think that's the routine that I need to put into my but my daily kind of practice as well so I need to have a morning routine at the moment I don't have such a strict morning routine it's more of just like <laughs> I wake up and then something happens and there's breakfast in the middle and then I go to work so <laughs> I need to be a bit more rigid about it uh, yeah awesome awesome so Robert um, I'm conscious of your time uh, but uh, you know again I really appreciate you being here with us I do however want to know how can people help you right now so probably the one thing, uh, and, and this is funny because at the uh, coach certification week, Brendan gave us all a challenge. Right. Uh, that uh, if you guys can get five new uh, coaching clients in the next ninety days, mm. uh, the the recertification fee because that there's obviously there's a fee to recertify every year yep. is waived, and and not that that's uh, it, it's. It's just a challenge that I love to accept. So I've got space for five additional clients. So that's that's one of the the major things. Awesome. Uh, and and really, even just to share about that, it's not um, in terms of of who I tend to work with uh, the the most uh, successfully. It's people who realize that there is a next level for their lives and they're ready to step up for it. So if if you are trying to make a bigger impact in the world, you want to make a bigger difference, and that's why obviously you and I connected so well, that, that that's the, the type of person that I really just get excited to support and to help. Uh, but you have to be willing to be challenged. Uh, you have to be willing to show up and do the work. Uh, and if you're not, then frankly, coaching is not going to, to work for you. So I'll actually challenge people as they're as they're saying, yes, I'm very interested in that, interested in coaching, that I'll actually challenge them. It's like, are you sure? Are you sure you're ready for this? Because this is not just the standard accountability coach. And this is, here are the steps, and you're either taking them and you're rising to the challenge or you're not. So, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that would, that would be one, one thing that would obviously be very helpful. Absolutely. And again, for the audience, like, I encourage you to go ahead and kind of do a review of your own life, where you are, where you want to be. And if you're not where you want to be, then this might be something that you're looking into. That coaching will help you accelerate. Coaching will help you, you know, take it to the next level and really show you the path that you need to take to be where you want to be. Again, it's not for everybody, but for those people who are really committed, who want to take their life to a whole another level, who know that they're capable of so much more, then this is the right thing for you. Now, Robert, finally, how can actually people reach out and connect with you if, if they are interested, if they do want to, you know, uh, connect with you, find out more about your coaching or, more, you know, just connect with you, etc. Because I encourage always my audience to reach out and say thank you. You know, if a guest comes on, uh, I think it's really important that we all say, kind of reach out and say thank you for taking the time, for coming here and adding value to us. Because obviously you, sh you shared so much value with us here today. Um, and I'd love to have you back for round two sometime. But really the, the, the the thing is that you know I, I want people to just reach out and start a conversation so how can people reach out to you right now yeah love that thanks for the question so my website and I gotta come up with a, bit, a shorter name or like a bitly like I, I love the uh, <laughs> but my, uh, my my company name is sustainable growth strategies right uh, so you can reach me at www.sustainable the word sustainable spelled correctly growth strategies all all in one uh, string. You'll learn a little bit more about me uh, on that page. 
there's an option to book a session. Uh, and if you do want to get jump on a call, one of the things that I'm doing now is actually sending you a questionnaire that helps you define where you are on your own journey of high performance habits. And that's important to do to, it, it, it's, it's one of those things that really helps you, like just even getting that questionnaire, frankly, for anybody, yeah. is going to really help you figure out what it is that's important to you, dial in things in your life. I mean, I've seen just in having conversations with people about the results of filling that out, they're like, wow, I didn't even think of this. This is yeah, really yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Wow. So yeah, so it's www.sustainablegrowthstrategies.com uh, and, and you can reach me obviously at Rob, so R-O-B, uh, at Sustainable Growth Strategies is the email address as well. Perfect, perfect. Well, thank you for sharing that, Robert. Really appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, it's funny too because there's so much, uh, it, I, I realized this, uh, I was doing a radio interview earlier today and the same thing happened. It's like, wow, I didn't even get to share half of the stuff that I'm excited about right now. So uh, yeah, I would, I would love to share uh, even more with your audience about some of the other things that I'm doing with mm. appreciative inquiry work, uh, which is really focusing on organizational, change at the organizational level. Uh, and there's there's a lot of good stuff. It's 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 amazing, and and I think maybe one thought that I would have to leave on uh, is the magic power of always thinking about how you can add value to people. Yeah. Uh, at this, uh, you know, the, the company that I was working with that I shared, uh, Epic Impact, that came about simply because I attended one of their events and was asked to share. Uh, what was wonderful about it and what could be made even better and I said you know you added so they, they added so much value it was such a great event mm -hmm. that I just shared with them a really detailed uh, report of it and they said wow this was awesome you know would you like to help us at the next higher level of engagement for our clients yeah so that opened up a whole world of opportunity mm -hmm. and I've seen this happen over and over again it's like if you connect with the right people if you connect with the right mission, the things that you care about, that the how, you don't have to figure that part out. The how becomes clear in taking the action, but having mm -hmm. that intentionality and having the right people in your life. And, and so I love that your message is about that, and that's certainly been, been absolutely true in my life as well. Awesome. Yes, Robert, you're, you're absolutely right. And to be honest with you, you know, with, with these kind of interviews, you don't get enough time to dig deep in every single thing and explore all the different rabbit holes, um, which which th this is what I like to do, right? So for me, these interviews are not long enough, but we'll definitely book a round two. Um, as long as you, you, you have some time available on your calendar, we'll come back. We'll, I want to know so much more. I want to learn so much more and I want to explore so much more. I mean, today we connected, we shared some awesome ideas ideas there was just so much synergy there it, it was phenomenal I really enjoyed this conversation I'm sure the audience got a ton of value out of it um, I know I definitely did so we'll definitely get you back and uh, we'll uh, we'll go de deeper on all those things me too me too awesome I awesome. appreciate it I appreciate you having me on and, and uh, look forward to continuing our, our conversations fantastic well Guys, this was our awesome conversation with Rob. Uh, we have to end this conversation here, but really I don't want to. Uh, however, I would say go ahead, reach out. Robert's given you his email, his website. Even if you are not sure where to start the conversation, just say thank you. Just say, you know, Robert, thank you for uh, taking the time to come onto the show. Um, apart from that, if you think the coaching is the right thing, if you think you want to achieve the same level of transformation that Justin managed to achieve and you've heard about like what he, where he was and what uh, he managed to accomplish later on in life after you know, uh, Robert shared the, the high performance habits and other coaching uh, you know, uh, curriculum with him, if that sounds right to you, then you have no excuse, right? If you're serious about taking your life to the next level, you want to accelerate your life, you're not where you want to be and you're frustrated and you feel stuck and you're telling yourself the same story again and again and again and you don't know what to do, then here's your chance. Here's your chance to connect with somebody who is absolutely world class. Robert is one of the very few coaches on the planet who's been trained by Brandon Burchard himself, right? So. 
what more are you looking for okay just start the conversation don't worry about anything else don't worry about whether you can afford it or can't afford it or what will happen and do I have the time or do I not have the time the responsibilities like you know like we just talked about clarity comes by walking through a sea of fog you gotta go walk through that sea of fog so reach out start the conversation in the meantime stay awesome hustle hard and I'll catch you guys in the next one great thanks